If you have fully evolved as a man and have stopped using the nuclear waste that is Axe, and instead have started using Cologne, congratulations! You have now entered manhood. Along with your crippling loneliness and inability to express your emotions, this is manhood. And if you're still using Axe, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you have not matured enough to watch this video. You are henceforth locked out of this video. Someone special also has a very, very important message for you. Sex, asshole, piece of shit. Now this man here, he's a real man. And boy oh boy, does he know his cologne? Let's give myself an or just mentally. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. He loves his cologne like you'd love a sister. Oh. Uh, or um, a mother. Oh no, no. Like you would love a partner. Oh. Sorry, that's a Pennsylvanian coming out of me. <laughs> Jeremy Fragrance started popping off late 2020, I believe. His fame skyrocketed when Cody Ko made a video on him. They even met up recently uh, to do an episode for Cody's podcast, Insanely Chill. Now he has almost 7 million followers on TikTok and has continued to spy and absolutely lose his mind. So join me and, and we can take a deep or more aptly put, uh, shallow dive into the world of Jeremy Fragrance. Jeremy Fragrance's real name is Daniel Schitz. Um, is it any surprise that he's German? No. <laughs> Jeremy is a scent expert uh, with his main forte being cologne. After gaining so much mainstream popularity, he launched his own fragrance brand using crowdsourcing called Fragrance.1. He teamed up with a Spanish perfumer, Alberto Moreras, who is a master perfumer. I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty cool. Master perfumer. On his website, there's also a um, lovely photo of him um, tasting the cologne, oh, which is something he is known for. So. Don't worry, this is actually the most normal thing you'll ever see him do. Bruh, Let's give myself bruh, an orgasm bruh, just bruh. mentally. In June, there was a GQ article published about Jeremy because, of course, if you look like this, Jeremy. you will be in a GQ article. It is titled, An Encounter with Jeremy Fragrance, The Unhinged Future of Celebrity Influencers. You know, I do think that is the most flattering way to describe meeting someone, um, an encounter, because it would probably be traumatizing to meet him in real life. Help me! One afternoon earlier this month at a convention center in Hamburg, Germany, fragrance influencer Jeremy Fragrance runs out on stage dressed in all white and begins leading the crowd in a chant. <laughs> Kraft, Fragrance yells. It's German for power. It was, it was just that one word, okay? Believe me, it was just that one word. The crowd yells it back. Minutes later, in the middle of being interviewed, Fragrance leaps from his seat and starts doing one-handed push-ups. <laughs> An onlooker turns to GQ. People who act like this have something very wrong inside them. No, that's actually actually like a very normal thing for, for Jeremy to do, so. So guys, this is how you become a strong person. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's give myself an orgasm just mentally. Power! I want to have sex. I've noticed that people respond the best to extreme energy. He tells GQ between selfies. I would love to imagine how this encounter went. Fragrance is adamant he doesn't do any drugs. He repeats this several times on stage and during our conversation as well. I usually have to say that a lot too. Uh, everyone's always assuming I'm cracked up on cocaine. <laughs> I'm not, okay, believe me, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> on stage, he also sort of addressed the weirdly sexual nature of his older videos, explaining that he's very horny, but ethically. The ethical slut. Jeremy, I didn't know you were so progressive. This is how I choose to admonish my flagrant horniness too. At the blue horn, which is pretty much all the time. Anyway, Jeremy also used to be in a boy band. 
This is the last kind of guy I would expect to be in a boy band, to be honest. But Justin Timberlake, but Walmart version. I'm sorry. That's a bit mean. Um, Justin Timberlake, but the German version. There we go. The band was called Golden Circle Jerk. No, online. Um, it was just Golden Circle. Um, they released one song that I know of, and it's titled Ibiza Forever. Uh, let's just listen to a snippet of the song. I don't want to get copyright claims, so it's just going to be a little, little snippet. All right, we gotta, I gotta turn that off. You know when you hear a song that's just so good, you're just absolutely speechless when you're done and it's just like, wow, that's how I feel right now. Okay, that's enough of his life story. You know, this isn't a fucking biography. Um, I know you all just wanna see me react to his TikToks. You're gonna have, you're gonna wanna prepare yourself. They're actually like, they're actually terrifying. They're, they might be the most out of pocket thing you'll ever see today. Jeremy. Let's watch this first one. This is just gonna give you a vibe for the kind of guy Jeremy is, um, the kind of things he's um, experienced in life, because, you know, I wanna know someone's life experience before I judge them. Um, so let's just listen to what this guy has to say. This song memorizes for me pain and growth. I had a woman, she tried to sue me for rape. My father died. A guy totally financially destroyed me. He is so close to crying right now. I had experience with gay people, and these gay people tried to... You know, they tried to... How do you say that? To... Like, force me to do stuff, or otherwise they will tell. The deepest of the deepest, then, and you survive, then you can... If that's not the best messaging I've heard in a long time. Balls. Fuck life. Whoa, so that's just an introduction. This is the kind of stuff he posts. I've had a lot of stuff happen to me. And I'm just sitting there listening to, I don't fucking know, what's kind of stuff, I probably, what would I be listening to? A fucking BTS song. I'd be like, this song means so much to me, man. I'll just listen to this shit and I'll be like, yeah, they're all equally as out of pocket. So it doesn't get, it doesn't get better than that. So. One on the left. One on the, <sighs> It doesn't make sense, my own song. I say one on the left. It's not one, it's two. I just noticed that. That is the face of someone who is about to commit atrocities. This is like when you have the longest day and one little thing happens to you and you're just like, man, I could just go out and I could, I could just take my car and I could just drive head first into a five lane highway, couldn't I? I could just do that right now, couldn't I? What's stopping me? stopping me from doing that you know yeah he has a song it's like actually pretty fire again don't want to get copyrighted but you guys gotta hear this fucking song like you have to hear it one on the left one on the right you smell like cock and candy i thought he was gonna say you smell like cock girl please suck my cock girl bro that would have been so <laughs> why is there a radiohead song suggested after this how to disappear completely jeremy fragrances playlist be like yo well, but still, the application would be right. One on the left, one on the right. One on the front, one on the top, and one behind. Exactly, exactly, brother. So listen to my song. It's called How to Fragrance. Honestly, relate. You know, when I watched American Psycho, I was like, damn, I kind of relate to this guy. I didn't say that. How to apply fragrance if you don't have a fragrance sprayer. So what you could do is you just do this or you do this. <laughs> but mainly I'm doing this video to get more views. How many people actually admit that? Fragrance.1. <sighs> the smile at the end. It's like when he cuts off his videos, he's... He wants it to cut off by itself and it doesn't cut off by itself and then he has to grab the phone. You know when you, like, you're filming something, like a, t like a video or something, and you forget that it doesn't cut off by itself? That was like, that was like fucking Attack on Titan type smile, bros. Is he eating people? I don't know. I, I, I'm not gonna make speculations because I'll get sued for defamation, but you never know. 
I'm the number one. I'm the best. I'm the champion. Versace Eros Doppel Power. That that's that's what guys do when they start going through puberty. They just they don't put on deodorant. They don't know what that is. What the fuck is antiperspirant? That's too big of a word for me. Antiperspirant. Yeah, I don't know. I just fucking learned English like fucking six years ago. What do you want me to do? Right? They just like ah, I could buy some cologne. I could buy some some cologne, some Axe, right? I just fucking spray it all over myself. Let me just... And then it's just at the same time, it smells like chemicals. It's just like a chemical slap in your fucking face. Like I just walked into fucking, I don't fucking know, fucking Bath and Body Works. At the same time, though, I'm smelling the smell of feet and ass, unwashed ass. At least I, I, it looks like Jeremy cleans himself at the very least. Thank you. You want to see my standing desk? This is my working space, bro. I'm a millionaire. I've got the gold Rolex, but I'm living in a 15 quadratmeter room at the moment. Whoa, okay, I don't, I don't know what the fuck you just said. I know I have quite a few German people who watch me. Um, you guys are going to have to translate. If you, if you still please, I'm not telling you you need to do that. I'm just saying if you want to. Because what the fuck did you just say? I don't know, piece of shit home. I love, that's a standing desk. Hey, man, thank you for the tips, though. I should have done that. I had to fucking buy one instead. It's fucking $300 out of my pocket, you know? I gotta just took my desk that weighs like 100 pounds, just set it on my bed, you know? Just move it back and forth. That's easy. Bro, I would have gotten jacked and I would have been looking like this guy if I kept doing that just for a few days, you know? Eighteen year olds be when they get their wisdom teeth taken out, you know. It wasn't me, that wasn't me. My face didn't look like that at all. Bro got his own song wrong. One on the front, one on the top, and one behind. D get it fucking right. Is there a ghost right Jeremy? Just be honest, you know. At least you fucking do is be honest with us. You're, you're proud supporters. My god. Why is he doing that? Like what is he do he's like it's like that fucking SpongeBob episode when they're just contorting their faces. That's him right now. Look at this. Look at this face I just paused on. Okay, this one, he's speaking just in German. Someone's gonna need to translate for me because this is the most, the craziest video ever. The fact that I don't know what he's saying makes it 1,000 times funnier. Was ist der geilste Geruch der Welt? Power! <laughs> Why? What the fuck is going on? This, it pisses me off. He's on a fucking, on a beach with a fucking loaf of like wheat bread in his hand. Why? Mit einer der geilsten Gerüche der Welt, selbstverständlich zusammen mit meinem Parfüm, dem Geruch von Knoblauch in Fett gebraten. Und da würde ich dann auch Brot dazu zählen. Einer der geilsten Gerüche der Welt. Jetzt bei Aldi. I agree. I agree. At the start of this video, what do you think he's gonna whip out? Maybe like a big bottle of cologne, just a loaf of bread. Was ist der geilste Geruch der Welt? Power! Es ist der... I can't speak German, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Let's take just the caption. Let's put that into Google Translate. It's the hottest smell in the world. Bread! <laughs> Ow, I got a cramp. It's the hottest smell in the world. Bread! Bread does smell pretty sexy. You know what smells sexy too? A brand new book. Oh my god, I can smell this all night. Oh! <laughs> can, Jeremy, a request. I hope you're watching this video. Can you make a fragrance that smells like just fresh books? Give me a man that smells like that. I don't know. Uh, should you buy this in 2023? Should you buy a gallon of um, cologne? Should you? I don't know. No. Don't buy it, guys. Rather buy something else. <laughs> like? <laughs> he did not just fucking do that. He's upset that he bought a gallon of Dior, Dior Sauvage because... Who the fuck gets through a gallon of cologne? Nobody. Well, maybe for Jeremy Fragrance, I bet you get through a gallon of cologne in a week. Versace Eros Doppel Power. The, the that? Bro, stop lying to everyone. I, I do not do any drugs, I swear. David of Cool Water. It's one third of the price. The, yeah, I changed my mind. There's no way he's on cocaine when he's this sad. Best fragrance versus Nutella. Okay, what? So I will compare the best smelling fragrance, meaning the top note of one million. <laughs> Sexy, sweet, yummy. Versus the smell of Nutella. 
Yes, I prefer the fragrance. I thought Nutella would make it. I mean, I mean, thank you for this video because I was like, uh, I was always worried. Do I want to smell like, do I want to take the Nutella and wipe it under my fucking pits? Do I want, it's, it, it's so frustrating having to keep wiping Nutella under my fucking armpits every day for my deodorant. Now I know, now I know the best fragrance I, I gotta choose instead. What is it called? Let's give myself an orgasm just mentally. What gives me an orgasm mentally? Um, getting a platinum trophy when, when I finish in, not, getting a platinum trophy when I finish getting the trophies in a PlayStation game. I, I'd be sitting there, I just, I, that little, that little comes on when I get it and I'm like, you know, I'm like, fuck yeah, you know? La nuit de l'homme, my baby! This is the best flanker ever. You could see the character break when he goes to put down the bottle. He's like, oh my god! Oh, my favorites, yeah. My favorite was always Sophie. She left me. Why did he just touch his nipple? Why did he just do that? Why he that was not not intentional. The man is dance he's just like mid dance. He's like, let me fucking touch my nipple right now. The, he's losing his mind. You only listen to the song if it, A, it's Halloween, or B, you're actually fucking losing your mind. Cry for help. Is that vodka? That's just a huge thing of cologne. Oh my god, what if he chugged it like it was... <laughs> He's not on cocaine. The dude is eating the fuck... <laughs> His cologne. Don't even lie to me. I know he is. I know it to be true. What is a sexy fragrance? Whoa. Bro. You guys are smelling your homie's neck like that? I didn't... But tell me your fragrance. State for men. Fuck, it's State for men. I didn't recognize my own fragrance. I was thinking, what is it? What is it? He wears my fragrance, man. He's like, God, I didn't recognize my own fragrance. God! <laughs> Starts throwing up aggressively, projectile vomiting. <laughs> I'm not fragrant. Everyone's like, whoa. Lois walks in, one shouter. He's just like, whoa, you know. Okay, this is freestyle fragrance. He does this a lot. He likes to dance. Let's watch this one. She loves the song. She loves she loves his dancing. Well, now we've we've got a um a full dose of Jeremy fragrance, almost a lethal dose. Um so you know, after observing this guy for a bit, I've decided to spend a day in the life of Jeremy fragrance. I've watched his morning routine on YouTube and his workout routine online, of course, and I'll be recreating them. I really want to know what it's like to be Jeremy. I'm I'm assuming it takes a lot to be like Jeremy, my hero, Jeremy. <gasps> All right, everybody. So it's, um, it is 4.30 in the morning. Uh, <laughs> I'm not filming this at, you know, 10.30 just for the bit. I did wake up at 4.30 like Jeremy says he does. Um, it's 4.30. That's why it's, it's light out. You know, it, it's still summertime. We got long days here. Um, so, you know, it's 4.30. Jeremy says, uh, first thing he does in the morning is breathe. Uh, so the whole night, uh, I didn't breathe. And I mean that, uh, my heart stopped last night. Um, but you, know, <laughs> you gotta do things for the bit. You gotta commit to the bit. All right, all right, if I gotta do that for you too, I gotta do it for you too. So, you guys know how it is. <laughs> gotta get that pre-workout in. Uh, I guess it's good, right? That'll help me a lot, I think, actually. Oh, it's a fresh bottle too. It's pre-workout. Oh, ooh, oh, done. It's a bit salty. <laughs> Jeremy says he does squats while he shaves. So I'm just gonna. Where's my. I'm gonna join him with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just. We're gonna do a dry shave. Why not? You know? 
gym i've been banned multiple gyms multiple states i'm actually a sex offender uh it is what it is you know uh. jeremy uh first thing in the morning he does is he goes out and he runs he runs outside so we're gonna do that it is again i said it's 4 30 in the morning so we're just gonna go out you again usually i run completely naked you know all my bits be jibbling and, and shit but i you know People don't like it when they see people's bodies look like human bodies, so. We could lie, staring at the stars for You're fading and I can do nothing. Stay home, the light is gone. Make it bright, but you can't find a knife. Just run. <laughs> as far as I could go, hey, <laughs> Jeremy didn't specify how many miles he runs, but I, I did ten. <sighs> I want to be like Jeremy so bad. Jeremy doesn't say what he eats. Uh, so I'm just not gonna eat anything. I feel like that's a great way to lose weight, actually. I mean, I just burned about 3,000 calories, you know. I think not eating anything is probably the best bet. I'll be just as ripped as Jeremy, you know. Just like Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy does say he prepares tea. Now, I already drank some chai tea this morning, but we're gonna drink some GT. <laughs> We're gonna drink some green tea. The GT, you know what I'm saying? That's what I call it. Me and, me and GT's, we, we tight, okay? So. so, eat it right out of this. So much more efficient when you just eat straight out of the thing, so we're just gonna. You don't mind? He says that he doesn't like punish himself a lot, but you know, I, I, I got a lot of problems. So I'll try not to punish myself. Be like Jeremy, I'll, I'll let myself indulge. You, you got to get up and you got to do it. That's what Jeremy says. You have to get up and you just you got to do it. You're not going to get anything done unless you do it. You don't want to do it. Just do it. You know, just be like Jeremy. That's what I say. That's my message to all of you. Um, living like Jeremy for a day, doing his morning routine, it's it's taught me a lot. And I'd love to live like Jeremy for a week. I think if I keep up this lifestyle, I could really, I could become like a millionaire like Jeremy. You know, I, I could, I, I think if I keep, if I keep, if I keep this, if I keep this. <laughs> Jeremy is definitely a character. Like, l literally, I think he's just playing a character. Um, but you gotta love his honesty. I had a woman. She tried to do me for rape. His personality. I wanna have sex. And of course, his overall message. What is the best thing in the world? Power! Is this this here? Let me, comment down below anything you wanna comment, um, anything about this video, and especially, let me know your thoughts on Jeremy Fragrance. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me, you can subscribe. I post comedy and commentary videos every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern currently. So if that sounds like your thing, make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell so you know when I post a video. I really, really hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you got a little laugh out of it. And I hope I see you in the next one. I better. I better see you in the next one. Or else you know what I'll do. I'm not gonna do anything actually. Bye. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper